Oh, it's just Jorrid. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Little Nightmares video. Now, today, I'm bringing you a video on a topic that I don't rarely touch about on the channel. But, a few weeks ago, I was receiving quite a few messages to talk about this subject in particular. Now, for those of you that do not, or are not aware, that Little Nightmares did originally come with a five-part comic series, but only released two of it before it was somewhat cancelled. Now, they never said cancelled per se, but they just didn't release the new comics. So, the only comics that we did receive was one and two. But recently, there have been a few leaked images from the issue free comic. Now, my first thought was to question the legitimacy of these images. While they do look very good in particular if they are imitations, there was still something fishy about it. So rather than just jumping on the topic a few weeks ago, I decided to contact the correct people regarding the situation, such as Tarsia Studios ourselves, and some employees for that matter. With that being said, I'm going to go through the process now of showing you the leaked images. And for our first image, we can see that there seems to be two hooded people or creatures, just one behind the other. And there's nothing more apart from that, and it's quite a small image. So the fact that the image isn't like full res and whatnot makes the authenticity a little bit more believable. But there's nothing more much else going on there. That's all there is, is literally just that image. And then in the second image, we can see two more figured people or creatures. It looks like to be two females. Maybe the ones prior to this one in the other image. But it does look like they're in the same sort of stance or in the same setting. And thus we get our third image. Now the third image is a little bit more believable as you may recognise this character from the comics that actually talked about the North Wind. And I can confirm this is the same character. But with that being said there's nothing more really going on here apart from the fact that it looks like he's shouting. And then when we check out the fourth leaked image this is where it really started to get interesting but this is also the stage where i believed it was somewhat fake and i believe that because it just looks like it's more of a fan theory than anything we see in the comics six conversing with a, a similar sized boy to the runaway kid but in this image we see the runaway kid put his arms through the bars and grab six by the arm and then that also leads us on to our next image which is the one of Six holding the runaway kid's face. And it looks to appear that the runaway kid is actually crying with a bit of blood on the side of his ear. And they're somewhat holding hands, as you can see. And uh, Six is wiping away some tears. Now, obviously, with all these images, it, may, it paints quite an interesting story. And with that, I thought to dive a little deeper. So, due to legal reasons and whatnot, I wanted to double check the authenticity in case of maybe doing a video, maybe Tarsia would tell me off for doing it. So, I contacted Tarsia themselves, and while I didn't get a response from Tarsia initially, I decided to go elsewhere for that response then. So, I decided to contact someone called Ismar. Now, Ismar is a community manager for Dark Souls and Little Nightmares. And I would like to thank her for actually conversing with me about the topic. It's rare, very rare that people will talk to you about these sort of things. And I'm also very sorry for probably butchering the name as well. But as you can see, Ismar issued me a proper reply, as in like a media type reply, as in a PR. And it was as followed. The comic images that are being distributed as leaks from issue 3 are not from the Little Nightmares comic project. They are an admirable imitation of the style of these comics, but that's all. Sorry about that everyone. So there's our first piece of evidence about the fact that this is not obviously a legitimate leak. And with that, I'd like to bring you to my second piece of evidence that these aren't legitimate. And that is actually from the message I got from Tarsia Studios. And I initially said to Tarsia, Hello Tarsia, I wanted to ask your permission before I do a video on the Little Nightmares comic free leaked images. As you may know, there are a few floating around the internet at the moment, and I just want to know if it's okay to make a video. As I don't want to be doing anything illegal, if you could let me know, that'd be great. To which they responded, Hey, sorry for the delay in getting back to you on this. I've 
also looked into it, and I'm afraid those leaked images aren't real. So it does sadden me to bring the news that unfortunately the leaked images that are currently spreading around the internet for the issue 3 are not true. And while it's sad to think that we will never see the light of the third ever comic, we absolutely cannot deny the evidence that is presented to us from Ismar Antasia Studios. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it does sadden me to bring you this news. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think they're still real? Is this some kind of little nightmares conspiracy that they're trying to hide? Or do you think in the long run we will get to see the rest of the issues of the comics? Let me know in the comments below. And remember guys and gals, if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like. And remember, if you do want to support the channel, please don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button with the bell on. You'll be notified at any time that I upload a video. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, sorry once again for bringing you this information. Thank you to Ismar and Tarzio for the responses. It's been great. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next theory video. Bye.